Okay. Hey everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video showing everyone the dragons I've already done. Um, these dragons are the ones that Courtney has done on um, How to Loom Your Dragon. So here's what I've got so far. I've got my big toothless and hiccup and I made him hang so he hangs off of here and he'll kind of swing around and then the other big one is the cloud jumper obviously and I made my Valka in her armor so I made a mask for her and her mask her shield and her staff can be removed and she can just be in her armor um, and then there's the cloud jumper and I made him hang too um, and then we've got the glow-in-the-dark flight mare that I made it so his horizontal bands are glow-in-the-dark too so he glows from the inside out and then the baby nap uh, napper natter <laughs> sorry I've been up since like six um, and then there's the baby whispering death and the big whispering death and then the snap trapper and then the little I love like my favorite dragon so far in the show and the movies is always the, the terrible terrors they crack me up I always start laughing whenever they come on um, then there's the speed stinger and then my sad little gronkle which I made with bands that are not rainbow looms so he is going to eventually fall apart um, the, I use the Meyer brand brown bands and they're already cracking but his wings are fine because they're rainbow <laughs> but poor little gronkle I'll have to remake him and then there's the sky he doesn't like standing up and then the nightmare and then the little baby toothless which I have to I'm gonna remake him and make his wings attached better oh zipple back I didn't say his name and then I made a little sparky thing out of the one head and then a little gas cloud out of his head and then the really totally awesome bone napper and I made a big bone for his mouth and of course he glows in the dark too now he's not gonna want to stay back up okay and then I made a little sheep because <laughs> there's the sheep in the show and in the movies so I made a little sheep to be terrified by the dragons and then this is what then there's the dragons that I made and this guy is ugh. this is Stormfly that I made and she's basically just toothless just a little bit different but I tried to make her colors like the ones in the picture but they didn't turn out so great but now Courtney has her new video up for Stormfly and I have to remake her and then I made um, the hobble grunt and this is basically a mishmash of a bunch of different dragons that she's done that Courtney's done but I made the head sort of like the what you call it the bone napper head so it's in three parts that all go together and I came up with the, the head crest and the tail oops sorry the tail fan but other than that there's definitely influences of speed stinger has the little arms um, the legs are kind of toothless as legs and the wings are kind of the bone napper wings but so that's that guy and then this is what I have been working on for a few days this was my first one this is Skull Crusher, the Rumble Horn. So this was my first one. This is the one that I worked on for hours and hours, and I literally just finished the tutorial. So the tutorial one looks, his tail looks a little different. That's basically the only thing that's different other than the colors. 
but I figured I would share with everybody what I've done so far. So I keep forgetting the camera's right there and I keep putting my hand in front of it. <laughs> so I hope Courtney appreciates all the, the dragons. I love everything she does and I'm always looking forward to new dragons. I have a bunch more that I need to make, but I only have two more spots. So I have a couple of shelves that I found at Volunteers of America that I'm going to put on top of my giant headboard piece. So I'm going to put a piece of wood on top of my hanger and then I'm going to have my shelves on my cool little shelves that I found on top of that so I have more spaces for more dragons. And then the bar here I've got I'm going to hang uh, the other things I've done, the other charms I've done like the little, I've made a weeping angel, I made a I don't know, I've made a bunch of different things. I'm gonna hang my bracelets on there and my little other little guys that I've made. So just so you guys know that I love these dragons and I'm going to keep making them and I hope everybody else does too. I love you Courtney, thank you for making all your videos and I hope you keep it, keep it up. <laughs> and I have the wings of Taruk, but I haven't finished his body, so, but hopefully he'll be done at some point. Thank you. I wanted to show you what the shelves look like. I thought they were really cool. They were actually like butterflies or dragonflies or something, so they were supposed to go like this and they have like a little head that you put on here, but I thought it'd be really cool. So I've got two of them and I'm going to put them across the top and then that'll give me all these spaces to put all my dragons. Yay! And then all those spaces. So I'll have tons of room for more dragons. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.